Okay, now to uh, set up a claim, first thing we need to do is to go to File. Uh, before we do that, we have to make sure we check the right drawer. Well, you can check the drawers up here, or you can come down here and check the drawers down here. We're going to actually take the one that says School. Okay, now we're going to set up a new one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to it says File, and we're going to say New Claim. And we're going to say homeowner's claim. And it takes just a few seconds. Okay, it's now SimSol is preparing your, for your claim file. This is only, it takes a few seconds. There we go, there it is. Now, we're going to pull that up. There we go. Now, we're going to be looking at. Uh, we have the claim number here, which we had showed you earlier, and you need to have your deck page from the insurance company, from the uh, from the claim, and then you look on there and you put the policy number. Well, we're going to put uh, six seven three two oh, three four five eight seven, and we're going to put uh, space o oh, two dash six seven okay now we're going to say date of loss click that little button here we're actually going to say it actually happened today so and today happens to be the 13th of March so you know when these things were set up okay and we'll click OK and it automatically pops it right in there now the carrier we need to know who this who this is and let's put in here uh, State Farm. Mm. There we go. And that's now done. Now, now we're going to put in here the uh, adjusting company, which would be us, but we're not going to worry about that right now, or the adjuster. Adjuster is probably a good thing to put in there, and then let's just put in here Mark. That's good enough for right now. If your firm becomes larger, you can build that bigger. Loss type. This is really important. Okay, we're going to say that this one, just for the sake of it, is water. Because the majority of your claims are going to be water no matter what. Water seems to be a big one. Claim type. And just for the sake, we're going to say that this is just a test demo right now. Just so we have it, we can look at it later. Received date. We received it today. We actually got it signed today. Okay, and uh, here we need to find out what date it was assigned. Let's say that it ends up being assigned uh, the 19th. That's when the adjuster from the other company, from the insurance company, gets a hold of it. Okay, contacted. We contacted them the 14th because we had a chance to actually do a little something with the claim. And let's say we end up probably having it inspected. Uh, well, they're they based on the 19th. Let's say we actually got a good chance of getting in, in there on the 23rd. Okay. This kind of gives you an indication. We received it here. It was assigned here by the insurance company. We had contacted them here, and it was inspected together with the other insurance adjuster here. Okay. Now, when just setting this up, you wouldn't put all this in. You just would put in here the date you received it and the date that you had contacted if you did if you contacted it at the same date. Now, let's go up here and let's put the address information in. Let's go 321 South Park Road. And this happens to be in... Rockville, and again we're in. Ar oh no, we're not in Arizona this time because we. This was actually set up for Pennsylvania, so actually we can just go PA, and that's in there. And let's say it's uh, one nine zero seven seven. 
have no idea what that is. I just put that in just for the sake of it. And last name for the client was Mop Row. Mop Row. Don't know if that's the first name. No, that's the last name. First name would be Pete. And yeah, well, let's give him a little of E. There we go. Now we had a phone home phone number of two one five 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 eight seven six five. And we did get a two one five 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 four six eight seven was their cell phone didn't get anything else that's all we got okay next takes a second there we go now need to look at their policy and on the policy it'll tell you when the policy starts which you saw in the other you know, this one we'll say this one starts in January 24th, 2007, and goes to January 24th, 2000, that's right, 8th, there we go. Now, we're going to want to put in here mortgage company. Now I'm just putting in here Washington Mutual. Okay. Oops. There we go. Mutual. I thought I would appreciate to have their name spelled the right way. Now on there we need to know how much was the main coverage for the building let's say it was two hundred and fifty thousand and that means that uh, and we had how much do you think we had for this one Very easily we had twenty five thousand for a second checked and we had personal property in here for and you may not have always have it but it's always good to put it in there this way in case something happens later on you because once you set this up you can't go back and reset it up so always make sure you put all the information in it's worthwhile well let's say this one is actually now remember you have three different things let's say this one actually had, had a number let's say that it said thirty six thousand oh, dollars no sorry try that again we're talking about personal property here so let's say that it had um, um, oh, let's see two-thirds of that would be 